Juicy Team, it's your girl Queen J, and I'm back with another reaction video. Today's reaction video is on R. Kelly. I know if y'all haven't heard, he's being arrested for charges that he's saying that he didn't commit. But enough of me talking. Make sure y'all hit that thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe if you're new. Alright, y'all, let's get straight into this reaction video. Let's get right to it because R. Kelly is breaking his silence about the sexual abuse charges that landed him in jail last month. The embattled R&B singer spoke with Gail for nearly 80 minutes yesterday. It is an interview that you will see only on CBS this morning, and he says all the women now accusing him of physical and sexual abuse, he says all of them are lying. That's what he says. Chicago prosecutors have charged Kelly with 10 counts of aggravated criminal sexual abuse. Authorities say three of the four alleged victims were underage when the suspected crimes happened. And Kelly has pleaded not guilty. Sources tell CBS News federal and state authorities in at least two states, New York and Illinois, are now investigating a variety of allegations. The singer, as you know, has faced intense scrutiny for more than a decade now. It was reignited in January after the Lifetime docuseries Surviving R. Kelly featured interviews with seven accusers and former members of his inner circle. They all say that Kelly preys on vulnerable women and young girls. I am surprised that you agreed to do it. Why are you sitting down with us today? I'm very tired of all of the uh, lies of hearing things and, you know, and seeing things on the blogs. And, you know, I'm just, I'm just tired. What are the lies that you're hearing that disturb you most? Oh, my God. Um, all of them. Um, that little girl was trapped in the basement. Helicopters over my house. Um, trying to um, rescue someone that doesn't need rescuing because they're not in my house. Handcuffing people, starving people. I have a harem, uh, what you call it, a, um, a coat. I don't even really know what a coat is, but I, I know I don't have one. You know. Have you done anything that you regret? Have you done anything wrong? Lots of things wrong when it comes to women that I apologize. But I apologize in those relationships if the time I was in the relationships. Have okay. you broken any laws when it comes to women? Absolutely not. The six-part series interviewed 50 people, mm -hmm. family members, your former tour manager, numerous women who all claim that you abused them. Are you saying everybody in that documentary was not telling the truth about you? Everybody? If, if, if you really look at that documentary, which I'm sure you have. I have. Everybody said something bad about me. Nobody said nothing good. They was describing Lucifer. I'm not Lucifer. I'm a man. I make mistakes. But I'm not a devil. Mistakes and by no means am I a monster. I'm going to name the names. Andrea Kelly, your ex-wife. Kitty Jones. Lisa Van Allen. Lisette Martinez. Geronda Pace. Faith Rogers. Asante McGee. You're saying everything they said in that documentary about you is not true. They are lying on me. Why would these women say the same thing about you? That you are controlling, that you are abusive, that you tell women when to eat, when to go to the bathroom, when they can sleep, where they can dress. When are they gonna get Why out? would all these women tell these different stories about you if they were not true? And they don't know each other. That defies logic to me. Right, right. Until you hear the explanation. You can start a rumor on a guy like me or a celebrity just like that. All you have to do is push a button on your phone and say, so-and-so did this to me. R. Kelly did this to me. And if you get any traction from that, if, you, if you're able to write a book from that, if you're able to get a, a, a reality show, then any girl that I had a relationship in the past that I, it just didn't work out, she can come and say the same exact thing. So Are you blaming this on social media? I'm talking about the power of social media. In 2008, R. Kelly was found not guilty on 14 counts of child pornography after prosecutors in Chicago failed to convince a jury that he was a man seen in a sex tape with a girl as young as 13. What do you want to say to your fans? Last month, Kelly was indicted again this time charged with aggravated criminal sexual abuse of four women, including three who the charges say were minors at the time. Have you ever had sex no. with anyone under the age of 17? No. Never? No. I have to tell you, it's so hard to believe that based on all the there's, regret. I'm going to tell you something, Gail. There's one you. I'm going to tell you something. What women said about you. What women said about me 
what women so nobody's allowed to be mad at me and be scorned and, and lie on me so they're lying on you that's your explanation they're lying on you absolutely he taking that to his grave absolutely absolutely you feel that people have maligned your character i have been assassinated i have been buried alive why they ain't been doing this but i'm alive so i think the point you're making is and, and correct me if I'm wrong, that you have never held anybody against their will. I don't need to. That, Why would I? Well, I'm, I'm How stupid would you never held for R. Kelly with all I've been through in my way, way past to hold somebody, let alone four, five, six, fifty, you said. Why, how stupid would I be to do that? I didn't say that's you That's stupid, you guys. I didn't Is this camera on me? Yes, it's on. That's stupid. Yeah. Use your common sense. Don't forget the blogs. Forget how you feel about me. Hate me if you want to. Love me if you want. But just use your common sense. How stupid would it be for me to, with my crazy past and what I've been through, oh, right now I just think I need to be a monster and hold girls against their will, chain them up in my basement, and, and don't let them eat and don't let them out unless they need some shoes down the street from their uncle. Stop Robert. it. Y'all quit playing. Quit playing. Robert. I didn't do this stuff. This is not me. Y'all, I'm fighting for my life. Y'all killing me with this. I can't help 30 years of my career. Robert. 30 years of my career. Y'all trying to kill me. You killing me, man. This is not about music. I'm trying to have a relationship with my kids. And I can't do it. Y'all just don't want to believe the truth. You don't want to believe it. At this point, we briefly pause the interview to give Kelly a moment. His publicist helped calm him down. I hope this camera keep going. No, we're going to let the camera keep true. rolling. This is not true. This doesn't even make sense. Why would I hold all these women? Their mothers and fathers told me. We're going to destroy your career. But Kelly's emotions remained raw. It's real girls out there missing. It's real young girls out there being abducted, being raped, okay? They really are on chains. They really do have chains on their uh, on their wrists, and they can't get out. Robert, they're ending up buried in deep. Robert, we have to have a conversation. Really, I, I don't want you just that ranting at the camera. Okay, I, think I came here for them to hear me okay, talk. But I need help. Means, what kind of help? I need somebody to help me not have a big heart because my heart is so big. People betray me and I keep forgiving them. You sound like you're playing the victim here. You sound like R. Kelly. You do. When I listen to you, I'm just you telling the like truth. you're playing the victim. I'm card. just telling the truth. And the reason I'm emotional, but Robert, I apologize for that, no, is no, because no, this no. is the first time I was able to just say speak. something. Yeah. I've said nothing. Okay, Juicy Team, y'all seen that video with me. Make sure y'all comment down below what y'all think, if y'all think he's guilty or if y'all think he's not guilty. Honestly, at first, I really thought he was guilty, but I really don't know due to the reaction he gave, crying the way he kirked out. I don't know if he's guilty or not, you guys. Only God knows, honestly, and him. And all I can say is I wish them girls the best of luck, and I wish him the best of luck. Until next time, you guys, I love you. Peace.